How did you get over suicidal thoughts? Serious? So story time. I attempted to attempt so to speak. I was dealing with depression for a while, girlfriend had just dumped me, cheated on me, and I had lost my job. I was in a really dark place so I was planning on hanging myself from the stairs at my house while my roommate was working. I wound up putting on my best face to go visit some family thinking this would be the last time I'd see them. I had a letter typed up on my laptop and everything. As I was tying the noose I had a sudden realization, all the issues I had going on, I would get over. I coiled find a new job, find a new girlfriend, etc. but I couldn't fix what I was about to attempt. All the dreams I had as a kid I could never accomplish, all the friend I had I could never hang out again with. All the people I loved I'd never see again. I decided at that moment that my life although at a low point wasn't something I was ready to sign off on and that I had to power through it. I know everyone's story is different, what worked for me may not work for you but just know you are worth fighting for and you are never alone in this journey. This has really impacted me, for about a week this bubbly girl was considerably less peppy. After asking her what was going on or if she was okay, she would always say, stress, or I've just got a lot going on. Then one day, she wasn't really looking up when people tried to get her attention and she was super super down. I knew she had a history of asking people what was wrong and trying to fix it, so I figured it was something along those lines. I told her, look, you can turn your phone off and just deal with yourself. Everyone's going to be fine even if they can't contact you for an hour. At this point she was nearly in tears. Apparently one of her friends had almost committed suicide and had been planning in detail for a while and accidentally let it slip to her when she had been suspected something. Her week was messed up and her entire day was completely ruined and she is pretty tough emotionally. I never realized how much hurt I could put people who aren't even that close to me. First, totally not a therapist. With that out of the way, I've come to understand that suicide doesn't solve anything. I understand that it is a disease that I will always have and that I will from time to time have suicidal thoughts. But I know that taking my life would be extremely selfish for both me and those left in the brutal wake of my selfish death. I understand the harm it would do to people to wonder if there were signs or why they didn't offer more help. I understand that it would destroy the image I leave behind. I understand that it wouldn't help anyone. And I understand that I wouldn't actually benefit from killing myself. I understand the fear, doubt, and panic that I would be thrust into upon trying to kill myself, and how it would probably just look like a cry for attention. Knowing this, I have been able to steel myself against suicidal thoughts. I know that, should they pop up, it is a momentary sickness and I immediately dismiss them. I know that dwelling on depression only feeds it, while acknowledging that I can do something about depression, rather than, say, forced malnutrition. If I ever get suicidal thoughts, I immediately red flag them as something being wrong and immediately set to work to resolve the problem and remove those thoughts. So I went through a really rough time about two years ago. In order to get over it I had to think about others. I found it easier to help others than viewing it as helping myself. At the time, my brother came out and I was the only one that knew. I kept thinking, if I commit suicide there will be no one there for him. I can't do that I have to help him. Or things like, my mom wouldn't be able to handle it, she might commit suicide and then my brother will be all alone. I can't let that happen. My life I couldn't care less about but it would affect others negatively. So I kept putting it off because it wasn't the right time for my family just yet. Eventually I put it off for long enough that I was able to get over the suicidal thoughts. I basically taught myself to fear death. The void and emptiness of it all. Life may not have much meaning but the end has no meaning. Meds, therapy, etc, they all helped in this especially the group therapy it helped me to build a solid foundation to stand on, and to improve and grow. I still have issues, and my own individual problems but now I would give almost anything to be immortal and live forever. I didn't do it because I didn't want to hurt my family. I'd been in therapy for a long time, but had just moved, so I was looking for a new one. 
I admitted my thoughts to my current therapist, and I had to admit it to my mom and be admitted into a mental hospital. While it was probably the worst and scariest time of my life, I honestly wouldn't do anything different. From my time there, I learned I wasn't on a therapeutic dose of depression meds, I learned what triggers are and what mine are specifically as well as how to avoid them, and this also made my parents very aware of how bad I was so they could help me, get me help, and know to understand if I didn't feel like I could do something. Afterwards, I persevered and worked hard with my therapist and am actually doing a million times better. He actually says I'm the client who has changed the most drastically for the better of all of his clients. I got myself out of the situation. Two years ago, I was living in the middle of nowhere, trying to make my marriage work. He had dragged me out of my hometown to his tiny hometown, acted like I was a burden, and was more interested in hanging out with his family than his wife. I couldn't find a job to make ends meet, and his money was going to whatever he wanted. His family hated me, and I wasn't making friends. I was so stressed, I kept having horrible migraines. I realized one day that I couldn't let my wings be clipped to make a relationship work. He agreed, and told me to move home. He was trying to find a girlfriend before I had even left. He moved her before the divorce papers were filed less than 90 days later. He married her in September. You just have to realize that at some point, things will change. Something gives eventually. Just one day at a time. I started smoking weed and trying not to take everything so serious. My rage and annoyance with the world slowly disappears after I get home from work and smoke a bowl. Sometimes I get high and just sit on the couch enjoying the silence. I didn't like the idea of whatever slash whoever was making me feel down to win. I wanted to deny them that. Listening to depressing music helped, or depressing stories, or movies. I liked knowing that there were other people who were going through the same things, or that had gone through them. When depressed, the loneliness was the worst part. Time. There are few things in life that can't be fixed or made better. I tried to kill myself once in 2010 and once in 2011, and nearly succeeded the second time. I did it because of severe chronic pain in my legs. I maintain that I was never clinically depressed, just miserable due to a horrible situation. It only got worse when they started telling me the source of my pain was a mental disorder, conversion disorder, I knew they were wrong and I essentially had to wait until 2013 to get my real diagnosis, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Knowing that I wasn't crazy and could meet people going through the same experience saved me. Missing school means I didn't graduate high school until the spring of 2016. A few months ago I finally started university, but can only take two courses at a time for now. I don't know if I'd quite call myself a happy person yet but I'm certainly hopeful. There's no cure but I expect there to be one in about 30 years. That and my friends and family not wanting to see me gone are what keeps me going. I learned to live with them. A lot of the time, it's because of exhaustion, my job takes a lot out of me, college is exhausting, and some people take a lot out of me. I did get better at labeling the feeling though and found that very helpful. I can almost always tell I will have a rough day and possibly get those thoughts and will aim to go to bed early because, as an old therapist told me, sleep is our reset switch and a good percentage of the time sleep will give us strength to tackle a situation. Honestly, I have no idea. I like to think it was the positive messages some of the shows I like were conveying, but I can't actually confirm. I thought about my family and friends and how I can't afford to leave them behind and how they'll feel if they find me dead like that. So I decided to continue, for them. A slash suicide watch. For me it was traveling. I hadn't really gotten to go anywhere as a kid besides Florida. I made $300 of photographing a wedding and just bought a plane ticket to Colorado. I'm from a small town in Indiana, it changed my life. To see something so beautiful and to have so much fun exploring the mountains, it lit a fire under me that hasn't gone out. There's too much to see and do before I ever think about dying. Also, I have a niece that I love so incredibly much that I couldn't bear breaking her heart. She needs me to look up to. 
Also finding my true love stopped me many times before I fixed myself. Without him I don't know where I would be, 